Hi guys, this is the Young and the Restless review. Hello. Okay, um before I start, I wanted to say that I've been having issues with my computer and I I think like you might know about it if you watched The Bold and the Beautiful because I mentioned it. I was like, "Oh my computer, I don't know." So, um if you don't see me, I'm going to be posting articles on my website. The links uh are going to be down below so I'm on Rosé blog. And um, also like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, I'm going to be there, <laughs> okay? I still have my phone, I have internet, so, yeah. Okay, let's start. I, I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to talk about Nick, okay? Nick Newman. Um. I was surprised that Dr. Anderson died, okay? I was very surprised. I thought she got stabbed in the back and she's going to live, you know? She's going to maybe say that Sage attacked her even though it was Patty <laughs> or something like that or another patient. Or maybe Chris at this point, the orderly, maybe they got into a fight and he lost it with her. <laughs> and instead of blaming... Um, the right person she wanted to you know get sage out of the pictures so she was like sage attacked me but no dr anderson is dead and i saw that everybody was like well not everybody but a lot of people were like well why kill dr anderson why not sage i was like Ooh. <laughs> that says it all <laughs> why not sage a lot of people don't like her and i've been <sighs> I don't, I don't like her much, but I kind of, sort of, a little bit like her with um, Adam. But with Nick, I just don't feel it. I, in my mind, it's always going to be Sharon and Nick. I don't see why they're wasting their time with Sharon and Dylan and Nick and Sage. That's just me, okay? Um, even Phyllis and Nick, you kind of felt like, okay... I don't, mm, I don't like Phyllis because it started as an affair. You want her to suffer, but you could see there was something with them. But Sage and Nick, no. Anyways, so <laughs> Dr. Anderson died. They're trying to figure out who did it. Um, they realize that Patty has blood, and they're like, well, Paul is like, well, my sister killed uh, Dr. Anderson. That's it. I'm not going to investigate. I'm not going to look further. Why? I mean, my sister did it. That's for sure. And Dylan is trying to tell him that maybe not. Maybe it was self-defense. Let's look at this a little bit. And Paul is not willing to do that. And he's not objective, which is very sad because you're the head of the police department. And you're not being objective. Okay? You're letting your personal stuff get to you. And Dylan was so freaking right. Maybe because he doesn't know her maybe because he's not attached to her like that he is he's more open to other things okay he's open for someone else to be the murderer or maybe patting doing it in self-defense killing out dr anderson in self-defense paul doesn't want to listen he's like focus on your family because you got a beautiful baby who's not yours by the way but you don't know and i don't know either Okay, and then we get Nick. Nick, who is pissed off at Victor Newman. For what? I, I don't know, okay? Victor was just like, why are you mad at me? For what? D Victoria was watching, and she's like, mm, Nick, don't do it, okay? You're wasting your time because daddy don't care like that. No, okay? But Nick was just like, no, you got to take responsibility. Admit that you know that what you did was wrong. And Victor was just like, why am I responsible for two not cases meeting each other? I was like, oh, Victor, Victor, that line was just everything to me. I was like, hmm, Victor, what did you just say? And I just feel like Nick should be mad at himself. Yes, Victor paid th this family some, a good, you know, a good amount of money, okay? And they took it. That's not, I mean, maybe Victor shouldn't have done it, but the family did accept it. Okay, that's not all on Victor. And at some point, Nick, you turned 
18, you turned 21, you turned 25, you turned 32, okay? I, I'm... I, Take responsibility for your actions, okay? You did not go look for Dr. Anderson, well, Sandra Allen. You did not look for her. You forgot about her, actually, because when you were talking to Sharon, you were like, oh, I haven't thought about her in many years. You forgot about the chick. That is on you, okay? Take responsibility for your actions or for not doing anything at this point. You let your daddy do the work, and then you want to be mad about it. You could have hired a detective and found that chick, but you did not. You have enough money, but you just chose to live your life, get married, get divorced, get remarried, get divorced, get remarried, get divorced. Get... <sighs> and you're living well. I, I don't understand why they want to complain. Like, the, um, when I say they, I mean Victoria, Nick, Noah... Like, they complain so much, but they participate, and sometimes they do what Victor does, okay? They, 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 they act as if, oh, they're above Victor, or what is Victor doing is so wrong, but at, at some point, you always see them doing this, okay? They're doing what Victor is doing, and they're like, well, this, this is an exception. No, it's not an exception, okay? You've been doing this quite often, actually, especially Nick, okay? Bending the rules when it doesn't fit him he's like well maybe my daddy has some friends and what did he say to 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 um dylan you know when sage got arrested uh we are family okay so you need to make sure that my wife is gonna be okay uh she can't be arrested like you need to let her go like no this is not how it works but you're like I know I'm doing what my my daddy's doing, but so freaking what, okay? This is an exception. You've been doing a lot of exceptions here, okay? Stop it. Victor was just not caring, okay? He was like, I don't really care. Nick left angry. Victoria looked at him like, and left angry too. I was just like, all right. All right. Now we get to Adam and Chelsea, okay? They've been having issues because um, Chelsea feels like he's too close to Victor, okay? And she's just like, I don't know how to do this, okay? I don't know. So she's been complaining a lot lately. And um, it was Valentine's Day, and she's like, ooh, I'm going to do something special for my baby. Adam was supposed to get home. He did not make it. Okay, he was uh, at work, working, um, talking to Luca. And Luca was just like, by the way, your nephew was trying to work with me to bring down Victor Newman. Oh, yes, his granddaddy. And <laughs> Adam doesn't want to believe this. He's just like, no, you're lying. Okay, no, you, you're lying. you lying. But look, it was just like call him. I don't care. Like, I'm telling the truth, okay? I am telling the truth, okay? And right now, Marissa's with Noah. And Noah's just feeling like this is the good life. This is the life that I was meant to live. I wanted to be with Marissa. And I'm just like, Mar Noah, I don't understand. What's the point of running away with Marissa, a woman that you can never marry? Because she's already married. What's the point of that? And like, why can't she just divorce Luca? What's the point? I don't understand that. And then when Adam calls... No, that was stupid. When Luca called, okay, because Luca was still thinking that they were working together, he had no clue that Noah actually left the country, okay? Was on the run, honey. With his wife. So he's calling Noah and he's like, okay, where are you at so we can talk about the plan? And Marissa, Marissa stupid Marissa was just like, hey, where's the shampoo? <laughs> I was like, bitch, no. You are street smart, right? You know he's on the phone with somebody. Why you like being loud? You should have been shh, quiet just in case. But now, now, now. 
So Luca was just like, what? is that is that Morris? Is that my wife? Luca got mad. Luca went to freaking Adam. Adam called Noah. Noah was just like, well, you know, actually was partnering up with um, Luca, okay? I was his partner, but that was just, hey, that was nothing, okay? But don't let granddaddy know, okay, because he going to be mad at me. I have nothing against him right now, okay? I have nothing against Grandpa right now because I am with Marissa, okay? Marissa made me see the light. She be shaking her booty. That's it, okay? Noah, Noah, Noah. That, that, that's what I don't understand with, with Noah. He's mad at Victor. I'm not quite sure why, okay? You decided that you wanted to help Victor. He did not tell you to come over here and help him out. He was just like, you want to prove yourself? If you want to work here, I'm not going to say no. Okay, you're my grandson. Come here. Come here, baby boy. And then he even told you, there's going to be sacrifices. Okay, you're going to have to sacrifice. You were like, Marissa? Do you mean Marissa? And he was just like, the time, time is going to come, you know. When you're going to have to make a sacrifice, he repeated himself. That means, yeah, Marissa. And you agreed. You went along with him. And now all of a sudden, you want to blame Victor for actually your decisions, your choices, because you're the one who fucked up. And he's been helping you. This is just so, ugh. And you know what's even funnier is that all of this is going on and Nick is just unaware. Okay, your son is being closer, getting closer and closer to your half brother that you don't really like like that, Adam. So I just can't, and Adam is calling him my nephew a lot. Yeah, my nephew, my nephew. Like uncle, like nephew, said Luca at some point. So it's like, oh, they're getting closer and Nick just unaware, okay, and um, seriously, I can understand why Noah is closer to Adam because Nick doesn't really care about Noah like that. I mean, I see him a lot with Faith. I see him, uh, I saw him cry about Christian when there was the fire and Noah was stuck in the building in the Newman Tower. Yeah, okay, Noah was stuck in the Newman Tower and Nick would just cared about Christian and his wife. I think Faith was there too, but he didn't even think uh, of Noah for a minute. That's your son. He's the forgotten child. Okay, Noah is just, nobody cares about Noah. I'm just like, okay. Anyways, Luca is just making moves. Adam is not happy. Chess is just like, I need my husband right now, okay? Because it's Valentine's Day, honey. It's Valentine's Day. I need to get some. I need to get some. Yeah, yeah. So she has a, a coat and a, a red rose, okay? And she goes to um, Adam's office. Well, Victor's office. But it seems like it's Adam's office because he's always there sitting on the chair like he's the boss. And, um, Chester's just is like, <laughs> excuse me, Luca, but I need my husband right now. And Luca looking at her like, mm, you beautiful. Chester's is like, thank you. And, um, Chester's is just like, but it's time for you to leave, you know? Bye-bye. <laughs> And look is like, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. And then before he leaves, he said, nice shoes. At first, I was just like, look at Luca commenting on shoes. Like, really? But those shoes were good, okay? They looked good. They were like, whoa. They were the shit, honey. But I was just like, Luca, like, you're a fashionista? What's going on? Like, talking about shoes. All right. You, you got style. I, I can I, I sure have to give you that, okay? But, um, I then started thinking, Chelsea ain't wearing shit. 
I was like, no, nah, she has nothing under that coat. Mm-hmm. She's naked. Well, I I thought she was naked, but she had underwear on. Mm. <laughs> but I'm starting to think that maybe he knew that she was naked. He knew that she was naked. That's why he said nice shoes. He couldn't say nice dress because he couldn't see a dress. And he was like, aha, I cut that. You got nothing on. You got nothing on. And it's okay. I wish my wife would do something like that for me. But she gone with her dude. I'll be waiting for her because at some point she's going to have to come back. Anyways, I'm busy. Like, I don't care about Marissa no more. He cares about Summer now. Okay, they had, I, I don't know, but it feels like Warren wants to pair them together. And I'm just like, no. She looks like a baby compared to him. Like, no. 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 No, no, no. This is a no. Okay, um... No, she looks like uh um too young for him. He's like a predator. Like, mm. <laughs> Summer, run, <laughs> run for your life. But Summer is just so freaking stupid. She's like, I know my grandfather doesn't want me to hang out with him and to have conversations, but I'm still gonna do it because he is bringing champagne to my apartment. I gotta let him in, especially when my boyfriend is just. In New York, he doesn't seem doesn't seem like he is coming here, you know, giving me red roses and or chocolate at this point. He's not coming, and I'm super glad that we're not gonna see Kyle because I don't see what he was bringing to the show. I don't even see what Summer is bringing to the show right now. So I just feel like they need to change her a little bit, like get her, give her a little bit more fire. I don't know, um, but Summer, she's just doesn't do enough especially when you look at her and you're like damn you are phyllis's daughter you're just like you want so much more from her anyways so luca was like hey i don't have a wife right now well i do have one but she left me okay for another dude and i'm alone so i need to get closer to freaking summer so Summer lets him in. They are talking um, about work, which I was just like, Summer, wake up! You are truly not your daughter, your 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 mother's daughter, okay? Because Phyllis would have, she would have been like, why are we talking about work? What bo? Okay, and Summer is doing the, the stupidest thing. She is drinking and drinking and drinking. And she said something about, um, yeah, my grandpa hates your family way more than the Abbots. And I'm just like, hello. It, it's a sign that you need to kick him out or that at least you need to watch out, okay? Watch out for what you're saying, honey. Be careful, honey. But no, no, no. The girl is like, give me more champagne because I just said something stupid. <laughs> And you know, the more champagne she gets in her system, the less smart she's gonna be, okay? And she's already not that smart, okay? Since she's, she invited him in. So she's drinking, and she's drinking, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yes! My grandpa gave me a new assignment, it's a big one! Look, it's like, really? <laughs> Do tell. <laughs> Summer's just like, Oh my god, okay, this is this a new um project. It's called Passkey. It's gonna change the world. It's just a new technology. So she's like blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and I gotta watch for Natalie because you know Natalie I gotta make sure that she does what she's supposed to do because you know mm, we don't really trust her like that. <laughs> Natalie comes in and she's like, who that? Who that? And Lucas just like, I'm one of your bosses. <laughs> I'm just like, motherfucker, no. But, like, he's trying so much to be, like, the top dogs. You're not one of the bosses. You don't make decisions. You can't hire or fire people. But, well, maybe, because you're starting to have leverage again. Anyways, so, um... Now it's just like, oh, hi, okay, but it's late, so you can't go, okay? Bye-bye. Look, it's just like, well, it's been fun. Deuces. 
And Natalie's talking to Simon. And she's like, uh, what did you tell him? And Simon's just like, not much. Oh, oh my God. I said a lot. I said too much. Natalie looking like, really, bitch? And you are human. And you are human. And then Summer was like, please don't tell my grandpa that I screwed up. And then it was just like, you know what? You've helped me in the past. Uh, no be. I ain't gonna say shit. But girl, you screwed up, okay? Hard. And um, talking about Natalie, she is in Team Phyllis, Billy, okay? Uh, we, could, we might as well call it Philly. Team Philly. Putting Billy and Phyllis's name together. Okay. Or Billis. Whatever. Um, and she's like, she's talking to, um, she, at some point she was talking to, um, Phyllis, okay, at Summer's apartment because Phyllis was acting as if she wanted to see her daughter, but in all actuality, she wanted to see Natalie, okay? And she spent a, a couple of minutes talking to Natalie. And Natalie was just like, I'm in my research, boo-boo. I'm in my research. All of y'all are connected, honey. All of y'all are connected, okay? Some is your daughter, okay? But she's also the, the, the um, related to Victor. That's his granddaughter um billy is married to victoria mini vic but that was hilarious when he called when she called victoria mini vic and she was talking to kevin and she's like oh my god mini vic grilled me and kevin was just like adam and then it was like no the female one that was just so freaking funny Two mini Vicks here, Adam and freaking Victoria. And maybe Natalie is a mini Vic in the making, honey, okay? Ooh. Um, so anyways, all that to say that Natalie is figuring shit out. And Phil is just like, yes, this Summer is my daughter and I don't want her to get hurt. And... Now it's like, yeah, but you watch it off of that project, okay, right now. I know you, 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 it's, you're all about that project. And Billy came up with this idea of we're got, Natalie's gonna act as if she's not a genius anymore. And she's just a con woman. And, um, Natalie, I don't think Natalie's gonna be good at acting as if she's not good. <laughs> because she d does believe that she's the best okay she's one of the best and that she's just amazing so how is she gonna be like oh no that doesn't work okay my Paskey project I mean it's a failure it's, she's not gonna be good at doing that I believe I don't know I don't know but I just, uh, I, hmm, 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 that's how I'm looking at this. Anyways, I'm going to go right back to Chelsea and Adam, okay? So, Chelsea, like I said, had nothing on. She had nothing on. Mm. But Adam did not realize that. He did not realize that because he, he looked like, Damn, Luca had, like, Luca is just, oof, you know. Ooh, I don't know what to do with Luca. And Chelsea's like, oh, looks like you did not, it did not work out with you and Luca. But, you know what, it does not matter. And Adam is just like, yeah, but, and then Chelsea's just like, opens up her coat, lets it drop. It's just like, I just want to be with my husband, honey. I was like, oh. I'm just like, okay, I'm coming. I'm ready. Like, you know I'm ready, baby. You know I'm ready. But Chelsea was just like, put the rose in front of her. And she's like, Shh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You're not going to say a word. I don't want you to be talking here. <laughs> okay, I want you to be working, working on me, honey. <laughs> and... I was just like, yes, yes, yes. It's not my fault. It's just like, because Victor left and Chester was just like, shh, can you shut up? Shut up. Take care.
care of me. Okay? And I'm just like, alright, alright. And they had good, passionate sex on the desk. Meanwhile, we have freaking Hillary and Devon getting it on. We'll talk about them later, okay? So we're having like a duo thing. I'm just like, no, 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 no. No, I was like, mm -mm, no, okay. I was like, I was all about Chelsea and Adam. I was like, yes, get it in, get it in, yes, Adam. And you see Chelsea like scratching him. I was like, this is daytime TV. Hmm. Okay. And then after all of that, ooh, you know, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba. Okay. You see Chelsea waking up. Adam ain't here. I was like, Adam, just tell me that you just went to get some water because you were thirsty after all after that workout, okay? Please. But no, he was all dressed up in the lounge, okay, the Newman lounge, whatever. And he was talking to Luca. And Luca's just like, what's up? What, what do you name me? And Adam said to him, Listen, man. Listen, man. You can't tell my daddy that you and Noah were working together. Because I believe that Noah is done with you. Okay? And you mad because he is with Marissa. So what do you want? I'm going to give you whatever you want. And this is like this offer is about to just, you know, go. Okay? If you don't decide what you want right now. So Lucas like. Um, 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 I'm a pass key. I was like, Summer, bitch. See, you talk too much. You talk too much. Adam was looking like shit. Like, he could have wanted cash. He could, like, anything, but he wants pass key. And it looks like my daddy loves pass key and believes in that project. God damn. God damn, god damn, god damn. And then we see on the on the preview for the next episode, which means today's episode because I recorded in the morning. So um it looks like today's episode, um, Adam is gonna be telling Victor that Noah was, you know, working with freaking Luca to bring him down. But I'm guessing that Adam is just gonna say this. And then be like, yeah, that was our plan. So look at plan B in case that uh, Luca suspected me uh, lying to him. Okay. Maybe he would be more willing to work with Noah since he might feel like he can play Noah more or whatever. So he, I'm, I, I'm, I'm thinking that Adam has an angle because it seems like he wants to protect his nephew. Okay, his baby nephew. So um, yeah, he has Noah's back, and he, Noah's freaking lucky here. Okay, because this, Nick wouldn't do shit like that for him. Nick is just gonna be like, "Why are you working with my daddy? Come back to the bar, honey. Come back to the bar, cause this is life here. Okay, that's life. Okay. So let's go quickly with um Abby, Stitch, and Ashley and Doctor Neville, honey. So. Um, Ashley doesn't want Abby to find out that she's sick. So she's like, oh, I have the flu, honey. It's nothing serious. I have the flu. But Abby's just not believing-ish, okay? And at some point, um, Dr. Neville got worried for Ashley. They got to the hospital. Sitch was like, okay, I'm running some tests, okay? I'm gonna need your blood. Ashley was like, no, 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 no. Dr. Neville said... It's okay, Ashley. It's okay, because I got a blood sample in, 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 in my pocket. I was just like, you're walking around with that? <laughs> I was like, Ashley too. Ashley was looking like, mm, but thank you, because that helped me. So T Stitch was running te um, tests, and he looked at the chart, and he was like, oh, my God. Ashley, Ashley, you pregnant. Ashley looking like, Dr. Neville, what did you do to me? <laughs> really? 
Dr. Neville, because like I can't act as if I'm pregnant not right now. No, no, no. And um, Stitch had the audacity to call freaking Abby. So Abby's just like, oh, I need to go to the hospital, my mommy. And I just feel like this is like Ashley's business. That's your patient. That means it's confidential. You don't go around and tell people, even if it's his, her daughter, that she's at the hospital. You don't do it, okay? That was not for you to tell. And then when she's pregnant, okay, when you think she's pregnant, you tell the daughter, well, your mommy ain't sick, she prego. That's not for you to tell. You're the doctor. And I just felt like mm, lack of... um. You know, he's not be being a professional right now. And it's like, uh, not a good look. I just, I cringed a little. And if I was Ashley, I would have been pissed. I would have been like, I understand what you wanted to do. But next time that I go to you, don't do that. Okay, that's personal. Okay, that's my medical record. You need to just shush. Okay, thank you. And Abby was just like, mommy, you're pregnant. And that's just thinking... No, baby, you are the one who's pregnant because Dr. Neville told her that um, there was on, the blood that he had was from the the, 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 the research, okay, the them testing people. And Abby was the only woman, so that means Abby Prego, Abby Prego. And Ashley was like, oh my God, my baby. But she can't tell Abby that, you know what? That was your blood sample, okay? That means you pregnant, honey. Not me. <laughs> no, I'm too old for that, okay? I, I, I'm done with this, okay? I ain't doing this again. No. <laughs> okay? No. But, um, so Ash is like, no, I'm not pregnant. That's impossible. It might have been a mixed up at the lab or whatever. And Stitch was like, okay, so we're going to take it, uh, take another bl blood sample from you. And... Ashley was like, no. And I'm just like, Stitch, if you felt as though she needed to ha get a blood sample in the first place, then that means if you feel like there's a mix-up, then she needs to take it again. I don't know why she was allowed to leave like this. But, you know. So, we have Dr. Neville, who was at the athletic club, because there's a press conference. Mind you, Neil was drinking, okay? Lost his mind. He was like, let's have a press conference and talk about... He doesn't know, okay? He's just excited, excited, and excited. But he doesn't know what he's going to be talking about, which is very funny because there's a lot of journalists and cameras, okay? You can't mess up. And then what's even funnier is that he called the press and he felt comfortable enough to just call them at the athletic club when he doesn't own that place. So I'm thinking he had to get an authorization from somewhere. Lily, did you say, hey, daddy, I give you permission. You can call the press and they can come here. You know, you've seen your daddy in his state. OK, he's not OK. And I'm thinking, Devon... Devon did not grant him permission or anything like that. So I'm just like, how did that happen? But okay. So Neil's just like, Dr. Neville, you need a tie. Dr. Neville's like, for what? Okay, you you called me. You said you needed me to, you know, we needed to talk. I'm here. Do I need to, a tie to talk to you? For what, honey? For what? And um, Neil was like, there's a press conference, okay? Um, I'm going to need you to talk. I'm just like, um, he's not even prepared. You didn't give him like two days of notice. Like, hey, by the way, you're going to be speaking in front of everybody about um, your research. Who's at his its baby stage? Like deal come on and then Neil was like hey Lily please uh give me get me a tie okay I don't care where you find it okay lost and find <laughs> found I don't I don't mind okay just get me a tie and Lily's like okay I'm on it and Neil was like you're the best child ever okay you're the only child I can count on I was like ooh very like ooh I was like mm, okay and then um Dr. Neville called Ashley. He's, he's like, Miss Abbott, I need your help right now because Neil is about to mess this shit up. Okay. Come right now. 
I don't care if you're sick, okay? I know you're at the hospital, but please take your car and come over here. Okay? And then you have um, Neil, who's like, hello, hello, everyone. And Ashley comes in with Devon and Hillary, who were fucking the night before. Okay? I'm just, I'm just saying. Not to be mean, it's Valentine's Day and they were doing it and you have Devon. And before, you know what, I need to talk about Devon and Hillary a little bit. Okay, because um, Hillary came to her senses. She was like, oh my God, Devon, you're the man for me. You're the man for me, you're my husband, I can't divorce you. No. And Devon was like, you know what, I'm going to pass. Goodbye, honey. But what she said before he left was, um, I chose you, Devon. I chose you. Which, well, I think she said that after, like, another day. After the, um, he kind of rejected her. I think she said that. But it doesn't matter when she said it. She just said, I chose you, which to me was a lie. You have no options, okay? When you think about choice, that means you have option A, option B, and possibly C, D, E, you know, all the way to the alphabet, okay? Down the alphabet. But that's not the case, okay? That was not the case. Neil was looking at you and saying, you know what? I'm attracted to you. I still want you, but I'm not going to be with you. There's he was, he was making, he was playing games, okay? plotting and scheming he uh had a fake affair with nikki nikki had to waste her time in the hotel room and write okay she was writing and maybe reading and stuff acting as if she was sleeping with another man when she was in fact doing nothing i'm just sorry you did not have another option and neil was rejecting you big time he was like listen i'm not even gonna save a, a, a chair next to me at abby's wedding okay you're gonna go sit next to devon okay you had to go uh toe to toe with Nikki Newman talking about neil and saying like you need to leave him alone okay you're married bitch so, girl, please, okay? You did not choose him. Neil chose him for you, okay? And Devon, you're so freaking weak, okay? The woman spent the, her entire time just telling you she wanted your daddy. That is just so disgusting. I don't understand, but at the same time, like, she was your daddy's wife, and you didn't mind sleeping with her, so I am guess it normal i don't know so at valentine's day um devon got weak and they slept together and it looks like they're gonna be together <laughs> it just looks like it and when neil was falling all over the place and being pissed off um Hillary was just like, that's your, that's not your responsibility. You can't do anything about it. Let Jack talk to your dad. Okay, and that's when, I think that happened when Neil first fell, okay? That means like maybe two, three episodes ago. I don't know. But um, that was just, to me, was just like, really? That's not your responsibility? Don't feel bad. Um, don't feel guilty. Yes, you, you guys need to feel guilty because your betrayal gave birth to all of this madness. To him drinking, to Neil drinking and falling all over the place. And his anger and his need for revenge. You guys are the foundation. Your betrayal was the foundation. So how dare you look at the sun and say that was not your fault. Who's to blame then? Who's to blame? Just Neil? I agree that Neil is responsible for, you know, keeping himself sober. But you can't say that you did not affect his life in any way. Like, wait, what? And as a son, you should be taking care of your father when you're the one who screwed his life over. 
and you know you know now how he felt okay because you saw Hillary with Neil and you know that feeling you know how he felt especially when at the time that it happened he was a blind man getting his sight back <laughs> So you know how it felt. How dare you then just be like, you're right, Hillary. Let's go upstairs and have sex, okay? I don't, I shouldn't feel guilty anymore. And then at the press conference, because Neil messed up. We already know he messed up, okay? Uh, he wanted to talk, but he didn't know what he was talking about. And Devon had to stop him. And the one was like, Man, you're losing it. Like, mm, stop it. And they had a little fight. Not even a real fight because Neil really fell on his own. I'm sorry, okay? He was drunk, okay? You see the gun, and it's like, mm. and, and all everybody was like, ah, ah. Looks like Neil Winters fell. <laughs> and the camera and the um, everybody was there and just enjoying the show and Devon was just like man don't you understand that the journalists are here and this is gonna be the story of tonight okay like no this is gonna be a scandal stop this and Devon called Dr. Neville okay to the stage he was like, come on, come on. That didn't ever like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to say here. I might just as well talk about my tie. <laughs> okay. Okay. And Hillary came to save the day. And she talked about the research and how much it helped her. And she wants to save other lives. And Dr. Neville is just an amazing doctor. That's the, and, um, the FDA needs to approve, um, help them out here, whatever, yada, yada, yada. And Devon was just like, wow. She's amazing. That's my woman. That's my wife. Yeah, yeah. And then Devon was just like, I'm sorry, man, but Neil. Neil was like, you hired me. And he felt kind of like um, Devon hold him or something. I don't know how. Um, or Devon shouldn't have the right to just come at him like this. Because you hired me to do our job or something. Whatever. Devon was just like, listen, I need to protect my investment. And I was just like, wait a minute. Don't you remember how it all started? You decided to get with Dr. Neville because he blackmailed you. Because you didn't want your daddy in freaking prison. You didn't expect to get money from Dr. Neville. You didn't expect for his research to work at all. Now all of a sudden it's like you're investing in your research. This needs to work. You are jeopardizing our work. You need to stop. I was just like alright. Because now this is important to Hillary. So it is important to you is that what's going on freaking Devon <sighs> and um so basically Devon fired Neil bye boo boo okay you fired okay you're drinking again you need to go to rehab go to meetings do all of that good stuff okay cause um I can't have this mess here and then Lily came and was like whoa 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 you fire him no 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 you can't fire him Devon how dare you how can you do this to him like stop um Hillary is talking about um I don't remember how Hillary came into the picture but she, she, you know she, she she finds her way okay she finds a way to get in the picture if she's out okay so she was talking she was like wait um you fired now and yeah, he fired Neil. How dare you guys like hurt him and blah, 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 blah. And L Lily was mad. And I totally understand that. Sometimes I'm not on Lily's side, but I'm starting to not like um, Hillary. There's something like, I don't like how she's, when she talks about the situation and she, she acts as if she's blameless and you know what, she doesn't have to take responsibility. It pisses me off because a man is hurting and uh, actually a father and son don't, don't have the same relationship because of you. And, um, as much, I don't really blame Hillary like that. I just feel like Devon should have known better because that's his father. But at the time, she was the wife. So, you know, she's not blameless in all of this. Uh, it's just it's just nasty. It's just nasty. And um, talking about Lily, I forgot about the last uh, review. I forgot to talk about Lily and Kane having sex and uh, Jill and 
Jill making plans, plotting so um, Lily and, and Kane can be together. I was just like, your son is out and walking and healthy. Well, back back to being healthy and you did not see him and you're not talking about him i that the, the, i was just like you worried about kane and lily and their relationship whether like no billy was life or death you know um i don't know but anyways she decided that she was gonna have um a birthday party at, at the athletic club anyways regardless doesn't matter she was faking having a fight with Colin and everybody that were telling her that you know love is what matters you guys love each other even though you annoy uh, Colin is annoying he loves you and you love him if love 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 so Lily and Kane were looking at each other and they went upstairs they had good sex and the next day Kane Kane was just like, nothing changed. I was like, yes, good. Good for you, okay? I know that um, a lot of people want Lily and Kane together. I just feel like, hey, Lily did not take responsibility for her actions. She kept on deflecting and acting as if, well, Kane, you did the same at some point, which was not the case. You lied to me. And she keeps on comparing their past mistakes. Uh, actually, Kane's past mistakes which were not mistakes in my opinion when I'm lying to save your life and our children's lives mm, okay that was not a mistake but either way so she 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 doesn't take responsibility and uh, second I just feel like King could be with somebody else I would love them I would have liked to see him with Hillary for a minute you know, just, I was wondering, like, I think, like, we're stuck in, oh, Lily and Kate need to be together, but it would be fun to see him with other people and see what, what he can bring. Like, I need the, I, I want the, um, the character to change a little bit, to just see where he can go, okay? Let's play with him a little bit. Let's toy with him, <laughs> okay? Um, I think that's, that that's it for my reviews guys okay uh remember rate comment and subscribe like me on facebook it's soiree on rosé like uh follow me on twitter it's soiree on rosé again um see you guys soon i hope if not hey look at the website articles and articles and articles okay i will be working anyways <laughs> bye guys